Poland. Not a nuclear weapons state, but until recently, the country had enough uranium to make about 18 bombs. It was fuel for Poland's only operating nuclear research reactor. I was invited to watch a U.S.-funded operation to remove fuel from the Polish Institute of Atomic Energy, 30 kilometers southeast of Warsaw. Built at the height of the Cold War, the Institute's reactor ran on highly enriched uranium supplied by the Soviet Union. This is the kind of uranium required to make a nuclear weapon. After the Soviet Union fell, the uranium was stranded here. So three years ago, the U.S. government began to negotiate for its return to Russia, where it will be made into a fuel with lower enrichment. Safer fuel will also be supplied to the Polish Institute so it can continue to run its reactor. Over a weekend in late September, I watched the last of the fuel make its way out of Poland. Security was tight. We weren't allowed to discuss the dates of the shipment or release any information about it until it got to its destination. It was the fifth shipment made over the past year. The route was complicated. First, the shipment was taken by truck to a rail yard near Warsaw and loaded onto a train. From there, it traveled to the Baltic port of Gdania. This was one of the smaller shipments. It only carried enough fuel for two or so nuclear weapons. But the Polish National Police weren't taking any chances. When we got to the port, they were out in force. The crates were loaded onto a Russian ship that would take them to Murmansk. From there, the fuel travels by train to a reprocessing plant in Siberia, where it will be made into fuel that is safer to use. Globally, over a hundred research reactors run on uranium that could be used in a weapon. Over the next few years, the U.S. hopes to conduct more shipments like these in order to reduce the risk of nuclear terrorism.